Sun is the only girl I, I have eyes for. I I'm not interested in, in a a anyone else at all. C c can I go now? I I'm going to, to go. Bye. Guess he was just being polite for his job when he told you all that. He was probably thinking of Moe at the time. Huh. Well, it's all right, I suppose. The mystery is solved now, and all is well. Still, it is pretty unlike you. What is? You strike me as the kind of person who'd be endlessly camera shy. Were you really in that good a mood when he approached you for those photos? Oh, I see. He, uh, just happened to catch me at a really good time. There was a fashion show at school that day. A fashion show? At school? What, didn't I tell you? I may nullify delusions by night, but by day, I'm just a student at a fashion design institute. And the day that guy approached me just so happened to be one of our shows. As in, a school show, not a real one. But whether it's for class or for the camera, fashion shows always put me in the best mood. I love the spotlight. Heh. <laughs> now the pieces are all starting to fall into place. What do you mean? Those pictures were definitely of you, but something about them seemed off. They just gave off a different vibe. Oh, like I was radiant, maybe? Yeah, yeah, all blushy like that. Your cheeks were super red, but you were also wearing way too much eyeliner. And your eyelashes looked really fake, too, probably because they were, right? And your hair. Oh, that hair. Asahi. Hello! I'm afraid we're still setting up for the day, so you'll have to wait before I can take care of you. Well, if it isn't Asahi and his delightful companions. Hey, Kemi. Have you come to ask me about Canon? Or are you curious about Kotomi today? You know about Kotomi? <laughs> Young lady, just who do you think I am? 
I know all about the delusion around Radio Lakaikon and of Katomi's disappearance. So, you're looking for her? You hit that nail on the head. She has to be the one responsible for the doll delusion, right? Oh, Yamato. I could lose myself in those cool, focused eyes of yours. <laughs> You've single-handedly won me over. I'll tell you everything I know. Kotomi is heir to a very distinguished family that's been around in Akihabara for a very, very long time. I do believe you've met her maid, Yoshino. Have you not? Yeah, I have. Both of Kotomi's parents are overseas, so she and Yoshino have been living alone together for as long as she knows. My sources say they've been together now for at least ten years. You're telling me both her parents have been gone ever since she was a little girl? It seems her parents thought that they could focus on their work and leave Yoshino to worry about their little one. And perhaps because of that upbringing, Katomi has closed her heart off to everyone in the world but Yoshino. After all, it's hard to make friends without going to school. Even harder to come out of a shell you were raised in. It's as if she lived in her own little world, separate from our own, since she was but a child which in turn places her closer to the realm of delusion than any other person on Earth. So Cannon took advantage of that and is pushing her deeper and deeper in? If Cannon exists, it's almost certainly what he's done. So there's no question that this delusion is Katomi's then? Tell me, Saki, knowing all this, do you still intend to destroy her delusion? What? Well, perhaps delusions aren't always a bad thing after all. But if we don't do something about it, we'll be stuck in the Sunday forever. We have to nullify the delusions in order to keep the world safe. Keep the world safe, huh? I'm just as stuck in this loop as you are, and it's certainly annoying. But I want you to remember one thing. Unwavering confidence in one's assertions can often leave one blind to the harmful effects of her actions. What? You'll understand. When the time is right, you'll understand. I'm back. Welcome back, Kanata. Whoa, how come there are this many people in here this early? Oh, sorry. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I simply must have told you all about these people already, haven't I? Well, they're Asahi and his friends. Uh, oh, hello. I'm Kanata Sootome. Hello. Kanata's a part-timer here. Isn't she a cutie? Totally, and so slender. She boasts quite the delusion, too. Even puts the complexity of God's double helix DNA to shame, if you ask me. Hold on, she's... aware of her own delusion? Oh, it's something to worry about, and certainly not harming anyone. She's my prized maid. <laughs> Consult her as you will. Kanata, thank you ever so much for the shopping run. Was it heavy? Oh, no. It was fine. Well, how are things out there? Anything strange to report? Well... Um, I almost ran into someone strange. Uh, you're an Akiba, darling. That's anything but unusual. He wasn't one of the regulars, though. He had a starched white collar and a very prominent pompadour. Boss? And even though he was headed right for me, he just kept yelling, It's time. I'm a bust on in and capture cannon. After nearly knocking me off my feet, he made a beeline for Akihabara Station. What happened next is anyone's guess. Maybe there's a new entrance. If there is, we'd better hurry 